version of complex function can be regarded as a mean to see a complicated problem. Complicated problem. Okay, that you will find out later. Okay. There is a, another mean to see the complicated problem that we call transformation. Laplace transform. Why you do the Laplace transform? To memorize Laplace? Is Laplace French? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Mm -hmm. So everybody, French people always think every famous mathematician <laughs> <laughs> is French. And you see Greek people think that everything valuable in this world is found by Greeks. And the Chinese people think that everything good stuff is invented by Chinese. Maybe true, maybe not. But unfortunately, Laplace is, was born in Switzerland. <coughs> maybe he's a French. <laughs> Obviously, he's not Korean. <laughs> <laughs> so, there are many transforms. Transformation. Transformation is nothing but doing one physical quantity another and the fact if I invent some transformation that can transform me from here to the United States instantly that would be very very much money making transformation right I just come back and I said last night we took from Los Angeles to here it took about 12 hours. Before that I, I took a plane from Boston to Los Angeles, it took about five hours. And I stayed at stayed at Los Angeles airport about two hours. So that was only real if I add up only real part of the time. Five hours, two hours, twelve hours, yeah. seventeen hours, and then from Incheon Airport to here, three hours, eighty hours. From the hotel to the Boston Airport, that was taking only fifteen minutes. So it's a long time. Right? But if I have a, some transformation that transform me from Boston to this class instantly. And then if I want that transform here to Boston, that makes our lives totally different, right? Totally different lives. So that's the basic concept of transformation. Laplace transform, transform the time to S. Okay, defined as Laplace transform, defined as, defined transform, <coughs> some function, the function of P, P is usually time, usually time, but not necessarily to be always time. You can you can use, for example, space as a t. You can use other things as a t. It's an independent bit. Then, by definition, what I do is I integrate the function of the time, ft, from zero, which means that when I start the motion, t equals zero, to infinity. 
we never we never succeed to integrate from zero to infinity, right? Can you do it? Can you integrate when you was born until infinity? If you can do it, then you are God. <laughs> <laughs> but using mathematics, we can do it. That's great. It's exciting. I I I I was so excited when I was children when I see the infinity. Infinity, wow, this is infinity. What it means by infinity? Oh, am I really infinity? Oh, yes, because this is infinity. <laughs> I can start here and go round and round and round and infinity. And infinity is composed look like two zeros. <laughs> infinity is somehow related to the zero. And zero and infinity are some relation. If you keep thinking this kind of way, then you will be crazy. But <laughs> 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 in fact, infinity is very much related to zero. You will find, you will find out using complex numbers and complex variables. And you will see that it's really true, zero and infinity. Label. Sometimes it's exactly the same. So God is exactly the same as list in the universe. I'm going to be crazy, so stop. Keep up. Right? I'm, I'm dangerous professor, right? You never see this kind of professor in India. <laughs> okay. Now plus transform, zero to infinity, and then what he did, multiply minus e to the minus st, and okay. This is very strange. And you will get, you will get everything in s domain. You will get everything in S domain. Now you are analyzing something not in time domain but in S domain, and often you find you, you, you will find out that analyzing the physical system in time domain is more difficult than analyzing the system in S domain. So what you do is you look at the same physical problem in time domain as well as S domain and S domain and time domain that will make you to understand some unknown complicated physical problem in deeper and deeper way. Okay? When you have when you see the great picture, what do you do? You see the picture very close and sometimes you go away and you see, see the picture in some distance, right? Why you do that? Because you want to see what the picture looks like in, in nearby and close to the picture. And then you want to see what the, 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 the painter really wants to express globally. Sometimes you want to see how, what kind of technique the painter really used. You have to look very close, right? So 